okay uh so if you're in kiev you have to stay silent or what no in kiev i'm in my kitchen always and he's ah, okay. uh, heating borscht all right great oh i'm so hungry great but uh hi and welcome to the thinking out loud podcast my name is yendrek my name is masha and we are two english teachers who actually have turned podcasters <laughs> no, I'm okay. kidding. We are still teaching. Every full still teaching. Moon, we are turning still... into podcasters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, actually, I mean, you know, every week, I guess. Yeah, every week. Look at this regularity, amazing regularity. Yeah. Uh, big shout out, big shout out to the emergency teams in Ukraine, allowing this uh podcast to run smoothly, yes. more or less. Thank you, know? you. Yes. Yeah. Uh so big thank you uh to them. Okay. Um you uh wanted to ask me about the world cup yeah i know it's a little late but how did you get over this uh terrible for you because people know that you're um our listeners know that you are polish but you now live in france and there was a game france poland and unfortunately well i don't know fortunately who did you root for I mean, uh, it's clear. I mean, for me, there's no doubt about it. I mean, I'm supporting Poland and I didn't even feel 1% French, you know. Might be different with my kids, maybe. But but still, I mean, we're Polish, come on, you know. And so I had no no doubt, you know, who I'm going to support. Mm-hmm. We lost 3-1, to one, but uh, it's not a shame to lose with uh, extraterrestrials, you know. So, uh-huh. okay. It, if you have players like Mbappé, you know, and in the rest, you know, of the mm-hmm. French squad, I mean, come on. I mean, losing to them is an honor. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, okay. I think, you know, as for, as for the Polish team, uh, I know there are various comments about the style of play and so on, but I think we did what we could. Mm-hmm. We advanced to the next round. It was the first time in 36 years. Come on. Uh, you have to give them a credit. And now there's, of course, some kind of shit storm in the country, but I'm away. I'm far away from that. I'm glad, you know. I'm just mm-hmm. enjoying, you know, the the good stuff, not the bad stuff. So I don't okay. know if the coach will stay or not. You know, it, uh, we need some kind of uh, fresh blood in the team, I guess, because some of the players are already veterans. It was the last mm-hmm. World Cup for them, for sure. <clears throat> we'll see. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, and I'm I'm really um, I wonder, you know, uh, uh, this podcast is going to be published on uh the 14th of december Mm -hmm. so uh i think uh, we will already know much more about the world cup than we are than we know right now we are recording this guys by the way uh one week ahead of time so so uh, we don't know what are the results but i hope france is still in the game and uh, we'll see and morocco you know this is my this is my team you know the team i support uh also secretly you know (laughs) All right. Uh, what about you? Are you into football at all? Uh, not really. I used to be actually. I remember. I remember crying at the railway station in Moscow when I was leaving mm-hmm. because I already lived in uh, Ukraine at that time. But I was uh, a student of a university in Russia, so I had to go there. It's like you know this strange form of uh, education when you don't study every day but basically um uh, sit the exams or... no 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 every half a year you just go to university and pass exams oh, all right all right so uh and i and i had to go to mm. you know to, to russia to do my exams and then i was on this day of it was a finals and it was italy and i was you know this was my favorite team and roberto badger missed Oh, oh Roberto my God. And I was ah, you talk crying. about this penalty. And I was oh, crying yes. at the railway station. Everybody was watching me. But no. It's um, so beautiful, you know, to be crying, uh, to be crying um, at the railway station. Um, after after a, a foreigner at the train station. Come on. When a foreigner, you know, someone who's like, I mean, what is your link to Italy? Uh, sorry for the personal question, but um, I assume it's minus one. Sand. Minus one. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, you're to able to. Zero, I mean, but... People are able to cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, it's it's beautiful. You know, this is the beauty of sport. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah, my son was actually crying yesterday when when Spain lost to Morocco. Um, kind of hard to understand, you know, why was he actually crying? Ah, uh, no, he wasn't crying because Spain lost because I was laughing at Spanish. Can't remember the player, but the one who who missed the first penalty, and I was laughing, you know, and 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 since he was supporting Spain, uh, oh. he was he kind of got upset and so on. But mm. that's football, you know. It's uh, that's kind of raining parenting. our hearts. Uh, sorry for that, you know. But it happened, you know. I said I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cry uh, to to laugh, you know. Great. Um, so so much for the World Cup. It's a great, uh, it, you know. One one uh, one uh, little comment here, because there's quite there, there was at least. I'm maybe not following this right now too too closely, but. There was a discussion about the human rights in Qatar, you know, mm. whether to to even play there or not play there. Mm -hmm. Talking about uh, usually, uh, I mean, especially Western uh, teams and so on. Uh, this World Cup is totally absent from supermarkets. There are no logos, Qatar, 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 you know, wherever. No, if uh -huh. there is Coke or McDonald's, they who are perennial sponsors of World Cups, mm -hmm. but they just, you know, they, yeah, Coke, I think, is just showing some French flags here and there, but nothing about the World Cup, nothing about this logo, nothing, you know. The same with big brands like Milka. Um, you know, we bought this, uh, what's the name of this? Advent calendar, if you know what it is. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Milka's. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so you know, each day you open one yeah. uh, little window, yeah, and you eat a chocolate. But, and there's a French team on the cover of it, like, you know, it's this French team, whatever, you know, and the Christmassy French team, whatever. Mm -hmm. But there's no no mentioning of the World Cup, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the logos and so on. So basically the, the, the big companies are afraid of, uh, you know, associating themselves with Qatar. Mm -hmm. But a friend of mine uh, who's French, but whose wife is from Morocco, they went to Morocco uh, to, to uh, just, I uh, you know, to visit the family. Uh -huh. And uh, they were watching some games, and I just received a, I just received an SMS, which I think I'm going to quote here. This was beautiful, you know. I say thanks, Boris, if you're listening. You know, thanks, thanks so much for that. Uh, wait a second, wait a second. He uh, he texted me this, you know. Uh, like like look at this. Uh, we are in Morocco. They don't laugh with World Cup here. So this is like, you know, uh, uh, I'm quoting you. Mm -hmm. uh, they are crazy with. They put it on screen all day long in the Moroccan living room. Uh, it's so funny, the difference with Europe and the human rights debate boycott. It's not even in their minds. If I would have the idea to ask, what about respect of human rights? They would say, what? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh... That's a French person texting me you know from i mean this is a nice nice um kind of observation a sociological observation mm -hmm. i mean who cares i mean the human what human rights like what women rights come on they are playing games so it's like <laughs> our team is winning yes i wanted to say you know on the uh, uh kind of you know as a, uh, on the margin of it that uh watching this world cup different uh, nationalities uh I mean, all the world is there. I mean, Asians, Africans, Europeans, South Americans, and so on and so forth. I'd like to say that the world is simply beautiful, you know? Of all the races, different cultures, you watch the, also the supporters. Like, I think it was Cameroon that had some kind of a shaman on, uh, you know, in, in, in uh, among the, the supporters. There was like, you know, a lady, I guess, like painted uh, the, the face uh, black face, uh, mm -hmm. of course, painted white, mm. you know, like like a shaman. You know, it's mm -hmm. like that's, that's beautiful. You know, that's beautiful. And and the same, you know, you have different religions, of course, there. And the players, some of them are are uh, praying to God, uh, to Allah, to whoever. You know, mm -hmm. they don't care about uh, you know if it's you know uh, public space or what. We are people, and we have different uh, faiths different mm -hmm. you know cultures different religions is fantastic you know the world is simply beautiful and i understand some you know uh backlash against qatar that it's a regime it's blah blah i know this or that 
but come on guys you have to respect uh the fact that you know they organize the world cup it's i mean it's running well yeah then you could say the same about russia right they organized it last uh time four years ago they were already yeah. you know uh in in the middle of the war mm -hmm. uh definitely in ukraine definitely in in other countries yeah i mean yeah this is this is filthy i mean this kind of bribery behind uh world cup fifa and all that mm -hmm. But once you know the 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 uh, tournament is is going, I think it's great. I mean, to, just to see different people, you know, it's so that that's my impression. You know, I don't want to go deep into mm -hmm. that because yeah, maybe there are some legitimate uh, objections, you know, against this or that. But come on, would you like the world to be the same everywhere? Um... Like, you know, as long as the human rights are observed <laughs> yes it can be very different <laughs> yeah but you know uh yeah yeah you're right i mean it's not funny you know when you know people are dying building the stadiums you know and then you know people are cheering yeah. and, and 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 uh jumping around sure all right fine uh i wanted to ask you sorry of to course, rain because... on the operate. <laughs> <laughs> No problem, you know. I mean, it just you know, you, you uh, I was I was so romantic and then, but they say, "Come yeah, on, I'm, you know, I'm you the have to policeman the here. You remember? <laughs> yeah, on this yeah, yeah. Show. The grammar police and 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 uh, maybe the the moral police, you know. <laughs> Thought Great. police. Next. Uh, I want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, wanted to ask you because we always ask or discuss one thing, kind of associated with learning languages in the intro it's it's kind of our tradition so i wanted to ask you a simple or maybe not simple but a question like this uh what's the point of learning languages if google translate is getting better and better in fact with each day yeah, and it can honestly better. translate yeah amazingly better every day and if it's not if it's not a google translate as deep l or other you know uh, software Mm -hmm. so what's the point i mean well uh, i mean that? did you listen to our last episode that's the point uh, language defines you it changes you. you 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 said it yourself learning a foreign language definitely changes you so you do it for for that change not for no uh, I mean, unfortunately you know, there, there uh, are people getting your who, message across yeah there are people who learn um English, well, in my case, it's English, because they have to, you know, because their promotion depends on it, and they understand that, you know, we will soon be a part of the, the European Union, and everybody, every decent person must just, you know, <laughs> uh, be able to communicate in this language. Uh, but there are people who just... You're indecent if you don't know this language. <laughs> ah. Well, you have to cut that, I'm afraid. Uh, but there are people who really, it's its great fun, you know, speaking in a foreign language. I, I don't even know how to explain it. What fun is it? What? Why is it fun? <sighs> so if anyone is doing it right now, seriously, I mean, adult people, uh, they should be doing it for fun because tech can release them from uh you know this obligation to to study learn the old school Definitely, way because yeah because you, you don't even have to your... read it i i asked like how uh, one of my students and uh, her skills are very very um you know limited at the moment and she was uh, mm -hmm. traveling somewhere and i asked her how did you get by and she said absolutely no problem i just uh enter my text into you know this let's say google translate and i don't even have to read it to the person i just um you know click you there's a play it you button. play it you play yeah, it yeah yeah. yeah yeah there's an automatic reader uh yeah and it's actually uh quite quite good at intonation and, and yeah. stuff you know it's it's, mm -hmm. it's really uh yeah it's true you know i'm i'm thinking that uh our profession is maybe at risk, you know, it's, it's of, of getting extinct. There will always be people who do it for fun. And I hate watching TV series with this, over, you know, over when they are... The lector or... No, when they are dubbing. translating, it's not dubbing. That's the key. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. It's, it's in our, it's in over our part of... the voice of uh, yeah, original. Yeah, I know, I know, the voice over, whatever. 
Yeah, yeah and I know. they it, are it, terrible. I mean, these voices they are they use and just you know, I don't like it. Yeah, opinions are divided here because uh, because uh, I know that in our part of the world, it's quite common to have this person reading uh, over the the original uh, voice of the actors, mm -hmm. like the translator somehow. But uh, in the West, uh, dubbing is is the standard. You know, it's this is what I mean. Each uh, mm -hmm. series that is of foreign uh, origin is 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 being dubbed. And I think, I don't know, uh, the, like I said, opinions are divided here. What's better if it's, you know, the guy reading or, or dubbing? Because Well, it's definitely uh, better to watch in the original. <laughs> yeah, that, of course. But given that, given that you watch, you know, a, a, a series in Hungarian, what would you prefer? To listen to the Hungarian somewhere, you know, below? you know in the background or would you like to have uh ukrainian or polish actors voice actors you know just just uh playing the parts of i don't know i don't know the subtitles of course is is also a a way out right the subtitles but mm -hmm. just like in the cinema but um i don't know honestly but it's it's uh it's uh, stuff quite gets, unique. Stuff in gets lost in the translation, of course. So yeah, yeah, sure. That's why, and it's just so. Sure. Anybody, anybody who tried. Speaking I want to say language. that uh, if anyone, if anyone tried listening or listening or watching The Simpsons, what a great series, by the way. Um, you lose a lot if you don't watch it in the original American mm -hmm. uh, English. Yeah, but then you need to understand. I, I, these multiple cultural references so it's not yeah, only true. like and some kind of there, there's a lot of word play a lot of you know mm -hmm. some jokes that happen in the language primarily it's true it's it's quite oh, different. try reading alice in wonderland you know <laughs> yeah i never tried i never tried but yeah it's well great so right. that's uh that's why that's why all right, so you do it for fun, you know. So, guys, we are here for fun, you know. I mean, for entertainment, and some language learning is also happening, I guess. I guess. You know, uh, alongside the fun, but the fun is number one. All we right. can do is hope. Uh, yeah, exactly. Fine. Thanks a lot, uh, Marshall. It's time. Uh, let's time. I mean, it's time to uh, go to. What about uh, your bread and shopping? And uh... I mean. What about it? I mean, just uh, you wanted yeah, to say some something bread. interesting, and you saved it for the ah yeah no no, no, no. great great that uh, that reminded me. It, it's not about you know I don't want to uh, brag about my shopping, but um, as some people may know, I I go to the street market uh, each Saturday and each Wednesday because on Wednesday uh, there's like a small street market, mm -hmm. and they have uh, good bread there, so I'm buying bread, fresh bread. But on my way there, I was listening to what? The, the thinking, thinking out loud, out loud podcast. Okay. Yes. I was thinking, and is, this is such a pleasure, you know, to listen to this. <laughs> I know you are going Gosh. to. You know, but uh, yeah, I was like, wow, this show is really good. I mean, unless I'm narcissistic or what. <laughs> <laughs> but I kind of started to really like. Um, how this show is you know running i wonder uh, what do other people think about it you know i mean the handful of <laughs> listeners that we have it's great so this is all i wanted to say you know that i'm sure I you're the, the our... biggest fan <laughs> i am a fan you know i'm a fan the of, of podcasting of, of podcasting podcast. and listening to but it's not like i'm listening only to this you know i'm not i'm not oh, even listening to, to our show honestly I, was... I mean just from time to time i like to listen to the beginning of it you know because uh, last time, uh, in the last episode, I left uh, uh, the kind of uh, spontaneous introduction when I was coughing, you know, and you were laughing, and then, you know, it was hi and welcome, you know, so I left this, <laughs> ah. uh, I didn't cut this, this uh, you know, normally, normally, we, I would cut it if that was the first uh, episode, you know, but now I don't care, there's also natural people cough in real life, you know. Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. They swear and and they fart. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, let's maybe go to let's the go. thinking out loud uh, proper 
but uh, I need certain uh, time to <laughs> think up the question, <laughs> right? I'm kidding. I'm opening the software uh, playing sounds. And by the way, uh, Masha, we are planning to uh, record a Christmas special next week. I hope uh, the energy, electricity, you know, emergency teams, everyone is there for us to to allow it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I need to prepare beforehand sir, some, I know, some jingles or something, you know, so that it's the atmosphere is more Christmassy. So it's just for me, no, just for the record. Great. Time to start. Uh, time to start uh, the thinking out loud proper. Let's go. Round one. It's me asking you, as always? Yes. <laughs> okay, great. So uh, what's the difference between a character and mentality? Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, I and I that... thought mine was difficult today, but you outdid me. Huh? <laughs> okay. okay. What? Character... Wait, wait, wait. We do, there is something like Polish character, Polish mentality. I believe there is every nation has it. No, say, was that Polish character? I'm no, sure we don't say it. Polish, Polish character. We say mentality. This vodka has Polish character. I thought it had Russian character. Sorry. <laughs> the vodka was invented in Poland. Don't you know that? Well, yeah, the but Russians now stole. when when I tell when you say yeah, Russians seem to have stolen everything. But when you uh, <laughs> let's say an average american an average brit ask tell them vodka the first thing that will come to their mind is russia yeah, yeah russia of course of course of course but uh, it was born in poland i guess but anyway uh, i'm not even sure about it you know, i just read uh, an etiquette uh, of viborova you know and and it was the, it, it's from the land where vodka was born Jesus. and it's in like poland you know. okay okay um, but we are back. Yeah, Sorry, so it's up to you. I mean, I'm leaving you alone with this character and mentality. Oh no, uh, don't go figure. Find some it takes collocations. Two to find tango. some <laughs> examples. All right. <laughs> but at least initially, no? try walking without crutches. I'm in at Ukraine, you know. I'm in Kiev. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the 16th floor. <laughs> okay. Um, mentality. Yeah, when you said when you said character, I didn't even think of vodka. I thought of a person, you know. People have characters. Yeah, sure. But course, things I mean, also, course. yeah, you're right. Things also have. Uh, no, I think it's only marketing. What you vodka mean, doesn't uh, have any character? But you know, they say at least in France, uh, when you buy cheese. And you ask the 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 salesperson, you know, uh, what is this cheese? What is that? And he'll tell you. He says strong character. Strong character means it smells really bad, and uh, soft character means it's fine, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, they, I know they use it, but only you know to to, to sell you something. Okay, but uh, do yeah, dogs uh... have character? Yeah, some dogs are gentle, some are not. Mm -hmm. So they, mm -hmm. is it character or is it their person? Is it their mentality? mentality. Do dogs have mentality? Uh, no, they don't have. No, I mean, it sounds, this sounds weird. I mean, okay, yeah. Well, oh, my dog so, has a fantastic mentality. <laughs> so, what is mentality? We always, you know, that now there is a huge um, ah, this mentality is a big thing because what Ukrainians say about oh my god, we again we. Yeah, okay. It's, it's life, you know. I mean, what? Come on. What that, uh, that Russians, why they don't protest, even if, mm -hmm. you know, they call up people and kill them in, you know, yeah. tens and hundreds. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they explain it, they, they say that they have this um, slave or serf mentality. Mm -hmm. So mentality means that this is what, how you are wired. Mm -hmm. but then character but you can change it right yes i mean i guess you can uh, you, you, there is a, a collocation like a small town mentality mm -hmm. and, small town uh, mentality you can change it, i guess I, I 
I wonder, can you change it if you start traveling, you 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 move to a big city? You may still. I guess you you, you have to time. start early. If you start late, mm -hmm. I'm afraid mm -hmm. no. But then, mm -hmm. can you change your character? The character is formed by what age? Twenty-five. You mean that it's being actually formed? It's not like you receive it from your parents and ancestors. Yeah, that's a huge question. Because some you know, you might be, you might you be. Were born with, I guess, but some you can develop, like, um, okay, work ethics. You not, you definitely is, not. Is, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But is it part of your character or not mentality? I mean, you know, you're a hardworking person who always finishes the job, and and meets the deadline. I think mentality is how you think, and how you see the world. This is mentality. Character is, uh, Jesus, it's also, well, it's a set of qualities. Some of them, I believe, I, I don't claim anything, but I believe some of them you were born with. But and if you are, let's say, choleric, discuss. it means that, you know, you explode quickly, you know, when something happens uh, that is not according to your... Yeah, th this stuff, I guess, you were born with. But you can work on it. On your character, yeah, yeah. You, you can you can work on your character. I mean, you can tame maybe certain features that you know this this uh, explosiveness, you know, or something. I think you can work on it. Mm -hmm. Mentality? Can you work on your mentality? Yeah, well, how you see the world, how you think about certain. Yeah, I mean, things. if you read books, I mean, if yeah. if you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, even let's say, what is this, by the way, small town mentality? kind of you know you like to gossip uh you're interested in in other people's lives your neighbors you know you spy on them or you know um, that, like... no, you're not just open-minded you have some oh, way yeah. of doing things and you would you know disapprove of uh, maybe other ways or at least not yeah, disapprove right, as long right. as these people don't kind of tell you what to do you are yeah, fine yeah with you're them, right but... you're right small town it's because everybody knows everybody so you got to be really careful with um new stuff <laughs> yeah but you're right it's it's you're right it's about being kind of uh close-minded because mm -hmm. um it's not about living in a small town necessarily right now i think these borders between small towns big towns cities and and villages mm -hmm. you know they they kind of uh they are blurred because you've got the access to the same multimedia, you watch Netflix, you watch, you know, you, if you want, I mean, Netflix is not the most ambitious, but there, you can have access to great cinema, great books. There's, yeah. of course, the e-commerce that, uh, you know, that delivers uh, stuff to everywhere. So you don't need to have a bookstore in your uh, vicinity. You can simply order something online, you know. Yeah, but then what will happen when you outgrow this small town mentality? You will have to leave. Yeah, you will have this scarlet letter, you know, <laughs> on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you will. Have yeah, to. you're right. You're right. You will. You will kind of have to leave unless you're okay uh, when people are talking behind your back or something. So you see, but we you, tend you to be comfortable with, we are comfortable um, when we are surrounded with people, with like-minded people, and they can be, uh, their characters may be very different from yours, but you're like-minded, you have the same mentality, you see the world um, in pretty much the same way. All right, all right, so uh, wait a second. Uh... The fact that we say uh, that uh, the Polish society, the Polish people complain a lot. They like to complain. This is our mentality, right? And whatever happens, we complain. You know, mm. the weather, it's, 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 it's too rainy, too hot, too cold, too, you know, whatever, too windy. There's yeah, but never complaining about stuff, it's not actually how you see the world, right? So well, it's it is. your character. Well, isn't it? No, it's how you react ah. to the world. Ah, okay, you're right. Mm. So is you're, it your you're, character? Okay, yeah, yeah, because I, I, I love that, you know, what you said, that character is about reacting, you know, because you have certain sets and you react to the uh, incentive from outside. Yeah, you're your this character. you show your character. Yeah, or... Yeah, 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 
but you show your character when you react. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. But mentality is not about reacting. Mentality is about kind of uh, what are you thinking even before yeah, understanding. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Understanding, exactly. And uh, stuff like being tolerant is about mentality. Yes. Yeah. Tolerant, open-minded yes. is your mentality. How yeah, you see the mentality. world, differences, and stuff like that. Hmm. Wow. Can you actually? Well, yeah, yeah, it's great. I mean, but but the point is, they are both changeable, right? But I'd say that character is pretty fixed, unless you can tame it. But you can never, I think, turn from um, a phlegmatic personality into choleric. You know. Yeah, you can work on some traits definitely. Like you can become more patient if you focus on yeah. it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the core, they divide. They have four types. Yeah, like character. As far yeah, as I, I guess. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, this stuff you probably cannot change. I mean, maybe you can, but it's probably very, very difficult. <clears throat> all right. Well, that is that is great. Um, all right. I know. Uh, and the mentality mentality is interesting interesting concept uh once one, one more one more time i don't know if you answered that but do dogs have mentality or not you asked me about character and i said yes mentality sounds weird because uh because the dogs are not thinking about the world they don't have or... yeah well they, they could travel the all world. around the world and they come back the same right unchanged like you know yeah they're guided uh, by instincts mm-hmm. some dogs they are more aggressive but this is their and that it's it doesn't even depend well some breeds are more aggressive than others mm-hmm. but some yeah. even dogs of the same breed they, they but, but the, different... i would say this is yeah, their character. remember my dog had puppies and they were all different <laughs> but they had different they... characters or different mentalities yes. no different characters characters they yeah. all have a because mentality you know, of a dog loyal creatures you know ah great wait, wait. they have the same kind of mentality and, cats and no matter have if they totally where they live they are you know they let you love them you know this is their mentality. yeah <laughs> <laughs> right that's the cat mentality all right great thanks a lot for ironing out uh this difference you know between a character and the mentality uh let me play this you know i think you deserve it oh. uh, you said something about a hard question so i'm kind of shaking oh come on okay what is it uh let me let me announce it round two it's about the difference between equality and justice Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, I say ay, 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 because... Uh, or rather, there's one because... mean the other. So everybody's talking about equality today. Does it mean the world will become yeah, sure. more It's a great, just? super important question. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm, 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 I'm sure about one thing before I answer, you know, that mm-hmm. I will have a lot of great ideas once we <laughs> stop recording this, you know. Maybe we should so, do uh, please... sequels, you know. Um yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, but one day we'll run out of uh, fresh questions, so we'll, you know, come back uh, smarter. No, it's never like that. You know, I know it because. But still, you know, I I wish I had the power of my students' brains, you know, mm-hmm. to answer this question like fully and and completely. That's why it because be I nice know that whatever I'm going to show. say, we are about to uh, start to invite them. You know. <laughs> I think yeah. uh, I think it will happen, you know. But but um, what I wanted to say is that whatever I say right now about equality and justice, a very very important subject, I think, is not probably going to be satisfactory neither for me nor for you nor for the listeners. <laughs> like a disclaimer, yeah. <laughs> you can stop listening now. And... <laughs> right. Now being kind of you know released from mm-hmm. the pressure and everything, okay. I can. Uh, Deliver. Right. It's absolutely, I mean, it should be uh, stated uh, at first, you know, that equality and justice is not the same, right? I mean, unless uh, 
someone uh, believes in communism because communism uh the communist system was about equality right everybody's equal a professor and a worker from well, a the factory, idea they're equal that, yeah yeah. The, I, yeah yeah but was it just i mean you know uh it wasn't i mean it didn't work uh it's um you know derailed a lot a lot of professions you know it kind of destroyed our part of world at least for at least for a couple of generations you know Look at this uh, beautiful picture. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's people are listening, but you can uh, in WhatsApp look at this picture. <clears throat> oh, it's, it's a visual for equality and uh, actually justice. Could you describe it no, to our you, listeners? You will um, describe it. Oh, you, come on! I seeing? hate picture describing. What are you seeing? Is this FC or what? <laughs> All right, great. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I think I'll attach this picture, you know, to uh, somewhere in the files. I hope. Uh, or uh, so there are three people watching a game. Yeah. Yeah, but, but they are not but, in uh, the stadium. They are. Yeah, they are behind uh, a fence, a okay. wooden fence. All right, and there's a father, uh, let's say a son, and uh, a little baby. A Bruno. <laughs> and yeah, Bruno. Yeah, exactly. Uh, my my youngest son. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, in the first, uh, uh, let's say on the left side, we have uh, this scene described as equality. So everybody's standing on an equal uh, box so that the father can see everything, the, the, uh, the son can see also everything, but the baby is basically looking at you know, the wooden fence. You can't <laughs> yeah. see the game because it's too small. Because they keep then, equal uh, boxes, yeah? So because they're, they're equal, equal boxes, everybody exactly. gets the same size of the box, yeah? Right, and, and on the other side, we have, but look at this, we have equity, not justice. I wonder if well, equity is... It's a synonym wow, for it's... justice, no? Uh, why is it actually spelled totally differently? It has a different, you know, uh, <laughs> origin and, and etymology and okay, everything. Okay, you want it's, me to go back question. and change the question, yeah? <laughs> no, but, no, no, I, I think that if you ask me about the difference between equality and equity, I would be totally lost, you know, because equity is a difficult, totally abstract concept and not, not, not a one that we are used commonly, but mm -hmm. justice, yeah, we use justice, right? But I think uh, there must be, of course, a difference between justice and equity somehow. But uh, to cut the long story short, uh, in the second part of the picture, um, Basically, the baby is standing on two boxes. The the uh, son is standing on one, and the father is standing on his feet, but he's uh, tall enough to see the game, so everybody can see the game right now. And, and this, this is, is just. Uh, but you know, it's not just because these guys didn't pay for the ticket. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. Yes. And this is not just. They are they are basically you know watching this. Uh, they are free riders. So. <laughs> okay. Imagine they were in the That's audience and just. sitting on on the you know normal chairs but in front of in the front row people are also very tall and the father would be able to see so of yeah course you can i get the this. point i get the point okay. but would you say that okay this is justice that that the young but look at this you are you know it's nice when you see a family of you know and and the baby who can't see the game oh my god you know it's not that you know the baby's not even interested in the game uh but uh let's say that you are a loser who didn't study and you know and were just bullshitting around until I don't know the age of 25, you know. And now, since you know you have no skills, no job, nothing, you are getting a subsidy or or some kind of uh, you know uh, uh, welfare, uh, whatever you know bonuses and so on. And the other guys who studied, who 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 uh, worked hard. Are now paying taxes to support you because you are a lazy douchebag, you know. But you're describing equality in a, the most abstract form. What when you don't equality? take it, when yeah, you don't uh, take into account the the differences between people or the reasons. Sorry, but what's the difference this between is... what's the difference between what's the difference between putting two boxes under the feet of a young child so that the child can see the game? And paying someone two thousand euros because it's not his fault. He's to... just short, you know. He will grow, but at this moment ah. he's short. So you take into account the problem or the differences between people. All right, I get it. So, uh, but this is about faith. 
you believe that this young, this baby, in fact, one day mm -hmm. will grow. Okay, this we can assume that safely, it will grow. But uh, then uh, when we talk about skills, you assume that someone will actually, so you pay someone uh, some benefits, social benefits, because you assume that the person will spend it uh, in the right way. That is, you know, to educate themselves, they will educate themselves and, and they will one day start earning and, and paying taxes, right? What if you are, mm -hmm. I know, 64 and you are like that you know can you expect that person to get schooled and it's, it's interesting these are these are tough questions i'm not saying that you know you should leave them to you know certain death <laughs> but uh yeah i mean it's hard these social dilemmas and, and pro problems like that you know because you never everybody as their personal history, you know, some people were born in uh, a well-off family, some people were born in difficult, you know, environment, and and now, you know, their 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 lives look like they look. But I'm, I'm just it's trying hard. to, you know, the, the way it's going today that everybody's equal means that basically, okay, if I'm a woman, uh, doesn't matter if I'm a woman or a man. I will be, uh, I'm not made actually, I'm just given freedom to do whatever job, you know, like become a firefighter or uh, truck loader. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, okay, yeah, I don't want to go down this road, of course. I'm the policeman and I but... have to watch the <laughs> women's rights here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> No, yeah, I'm but speaking kidding. about that, you know, speaking about about mm -hmm. that, you know, it's also a great context for for equality and justice. You know, I mean, uh, should so we're definitely not e the same. There was know? a there was a nice there was a nice I think um, story a couple of weeks ago on the media that uh, the WNBA players uh, mm -hmm. from the women's NBA mm -hmm. uh, wanted to have equal earnings as their male counterparts in the mm -hmm. nba mm -hmm. the, the point is that right now uh, the nba the association is kind of subsidizing the wnba the league mm -hmm. because it's uh, this league is unable to kind of uh uh you know break even i guess because but you know because watching there are women less playing i mean it's not like yeah. nobody likes to watch women you know definitely i like no i mean what <laughs> but... <laughs> But Play. no, I'm talking about I'm talking about uh, basketball. Come on, I like watching uh, uh, you know any any kind of but but apparently it's less popular. You know, if you take it on mass, that's what you know. that's what I'm was trying to say. Yeah, all right, right. <laughs> so not so, comparing to so mm -hmm. so and they claim uh, I mean their claims because I think it's some kind of a labor union or mm -hmm. or I, I don't know who who was uh, you know uh, putting this claim forward. But uh, they claim that they should be earning the same because, after all, they do the same stuff. They play the same game. They, uh, you know, they they uh, they train and they play. You know, so so. Uh, what do you think? Should they be earning the same? Well, if and they can't make so much money, you... well, why are they? Why do they think they are entitled to a bigger salary? After because all, the job they is are the same. You know. Because okay, the job is the same. I then I can say that there are so many. Um, well, the job is the same. The second, the second English teacher. All right. How many English? There are probably English teachers who make twice uh, as much as we make. So we All should right. do what? Just claim the same money because the job is the same. I mean, but. Uh... Yeah, but in our case, we somehow decide about our earnings. I mean, you know, I can raise my stakes. I can raise the price. And I said, I, I basically, I set the price. But what if you work for an employer? What if you work because for a school, I, English teacher for a school? And you know that in this school, they pay you this and this right. amount of money. And that school pays more. So you just, you don't start protesting. You just leave that school and go and work for another. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. But on the free market, you can do that. I wonder about these uh, WNBA players. Could they actually go to another league? Probably WNBA is still paying the best money that's uh, 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 women. It's basketball not like players. it's not like in football. They have clubs and uh, they pay their salaries. Yeah, I mean, it's like that. So it's, it's kind like of that, free market. No, it's kind of free market. I know, but it's uh, but I know that the league could. I think uh, once again, I am not well oriented in this case, but I think the league could subsidize them even more, so that you know they they uh, um, make the earnings equal, even if the clubs are unable to pay more. So the league uh, maybe mm-hmm. can cough up you know the difference. So they cannot attract audiences, but they want the same pay as. Uh, People who can. Yes, uh, I mean it looks like that on paper. Yeah, they are. They are. They are. I mean, their league is not as attractive as the NBA. The, the you know where where men play, and yet they claim that it's the same kind of. You know, it's the same like I don't know. Uh, we have we have this case right now in France, uh, exactly in in my son's school. There are. Uh, I don't know if I was mentioning this, but uh, last in the last episode, but we have a strike. Uh, there is, uh, there are, they are not teachers, but they are somehow social workers who, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, uh, people who take care of children during the lunch break. The lunch break lasts two hours. Uh, I mean, oh, they take so care of them before okay. school, mm-hmm. before school, uh, during the lunch break, and after school. Mm-hmm. you know but the teachers mm-hmm. are doing different jobs teachers are teaching you know it's it's different but and these people protest here in my school because uh, they earn less than their uh, counterparts in other schools in the region uh-huh. you know mm-hmm. so they they are doing exactly the same job and i think they are right uh protesting you know because yeah, after all come case, on I, w- I would agree they are absolutely right is that like you know uh um uh, because in our case, I, I think uh, English teachers, freelancers, especially, our popularity somehow regulates our earnings, right? The same, but with you can be like players. a more popular. We'll yeah, take the same the, with the sport, players. for example. Why football is so widely, you know, popular, and let's say table tennis is not. So what if I am a table tennis, ping pong player? I should go and protest, mm-hmm. and I should make as much money as. Uh, I don't know, Messi. I mean, if I'm you sorry, your sports is not in, as popular. Wait a second, wait, yeah, 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 but but yeah, yeah. I okay, I get it. But if you believed in, let me think. Uh, this is this is just, or this is this is there is no equality here in earnings, right? There's no equality, but is it just that you, as a ping pong player, are earning actually less? It's just much less. It's just because your sport sucks. It's I mean, it, it, it just it, <laughs> it, it's just in terms of um, well, this world is not just. I don't know why football is more popular than uh, than ping pong, but unfortunately, that's the way things are. Is it just that the world works like this? I'm not sure, but in the reality we're put in, it's just for you to make less money. And why that's, that's the thing, makes you know, we less could money try, than uh, we could footballer. try and tweak it. Yeah, we could try and tweak it uh, using some subsidies, you know, some kind of, you know. Um, mm, subsidies but, in your but, case with the social workers, it's the state who pays their salaries. Yes. yes. But in um, in basketball, it's not. It's, I don't know, it's entertainment. It's business after all. So as long as it's, as long as it's a free market. Yeah, it's, it's demand just. supply. Is it just demand supply? And if it's if it's a state agency, it's mm-hmm. no longer. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's very hard, you know. It's very hard because, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, uh, and it's kind of also risky, I guess, because if you start applying the same measure to everyone everywhere, uh, yeah, the system may may end up in some kind of, you know. Um, I guess equality is not the way out. For the problems we no have equality today. is not the way out uh equality is not the way out but but oh, there's so much confusion here you know i mean 
what is justice is the way out to be just but then who decides about justice you know that's the problem you know there's is it just mm -hmm. you know we have a a joke in our family when we have i think i already told you when we buy a bar of chocolate and -hmm. there are four of us in the family so there is always a question that somebody always asks a question how are we going to divide it uh we're going to be just or we just divide it equally (laughs) All right. <laughs> and of course, kids always say equally. <laughs> yeah, because they are winning, you know, on that. But, uh, yeah. but exactly, you know, they, you know, with, uh, that's the thing, you know, if your body is like twice uh, the size, you know, of your kid, you should actually have or who twice paid more for it. Or who you paid know? for it, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's another factor. Yeah, yeah true. But uh, definitely, uh, um, if you ask me, what do I choose, equality or, or justice? I choose justice. But the problem with justice is uh, the decision. Uh, you know, you think that the system is just when everybody's uh, treated equally, but this is horribly difficult, you know, mm-hmm. because if you apply the true justice, in my opinion, is individual. I mean, each case is um, decided uh, kind of individually. Decided individually, yes. Because if you apply, because you know, mm-hmm. people think, oh, it's just when everybody receives the same uh, treatment. But um, I don't think so. It, you know, in this, uh, all these controversial things like abortion and so on, you know, sometimes abortion may be justified, you know, why not? Sometimes maybe less, you know, and it really depends on the case, I think. It's not like, you know, we uh, introduce a, a law across the board, like, um I think, I think that systems the, cannot the, be just just because of their nature, no. you know. I mean That's exactly we have I mean, to do with use equal. the word system. System is mm-hmm. simply never just because never. it's a system. Mm-hmm. The problem, unless the system is so uh, uh super, well designed, I, I say in French. What is that? Well designed, yeah, but it means that it's kind of flexible. But then if it's flexible, it it's seems not to be unjust. Uh, yeah, it's not a system. I mean, it's it's super hard, I think. That's why, yeah. you know, uh, I and, and, and the judges, they have, you know, the code. And they have to stick to the code. But, you know, it's not everything. Code is not everything. There's also this, you know, this, what is called uh, the, the, the spirit of the law, you know, this kind of the spirit it's of good. justice that you yeah. know that, that you know something is mm-hmm. is 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 not just you know and this is yeah. horribly difficult to execute and that's yeah. why we substitute justice with equality, equality. okay guys you have yeah. the same treatment everybody receives the same everybody's mm-hmm. happy right everybody's but happy. uh the majorities yeah. but uh, <laughs> yeah but <laughs> it takes really a, a huge courage huge uh character you know Mm-hmm. to be able to go against the grain for a judge for example and mm-hmm. to say that no in this case you know justice looks like that in the other case but so you choose not I to follow if... the letter of the the law yeah. by the letter but... yeah but i wonder if it's even legal you know <laughs> i mean uh this is such uh-huh. a horrible horribly difficult uh, job especially if uh, you are dealing with uh really really uh important cases you know you, you know, in some keep... systems, it's easier. Like in um, in the US, in England, they have yeah, this, they pre- have this uh, precedence. Precedent. Yeah. Then it's kind of easier than in our German style. Yeah. Is it German or Roman? Yeah, oh, German yeah. maybe. No, no they, now it's German, but um, maybe. Yeah, yeah, but the system, yeah, but the system, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, this system is is uh, kind of it's unfair by definition, you know. Yeah, but so you go to the court and you know that the decision will actually be, you know, um, not really satisfactory, right? Well, I'm really happy with All that. All right. Answer. You wow, deserve two lot, rounds I'm, of applause. I'm... Oh, <laughs> let me play that, you know. Oh, yeah. Fine. Yeah. Um, uh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for the question. I'm pretty sure that once we disconnect, I'll have uh, you know a, a crazy amount of uh, examples, illustrations, you know, to prove whichever point, you know. But uh, let's be happy with what we oh, have. You did. Re- you, know? you did really great. 
All right, great. Thanks, thanks so much for that, Masha. Um, what is left for us to do here is to tell our students that this is how our classes look like. There are rounds of questions. We ask round one, and if there's a question, round two, there's another question that is totally uh, sometimes uh, different than, than the one from round yeah. one. Yeah. Usually, yeah. I used to have classes with questions that were somehow linked, but mm -hmm. uh, it's not even necessary, you know. It's nice to change this, you know, um, the subject of conversation. But uh, yeah. but what is what is common for all these questions is this this search for truth, <laughs> you know, the search for for the right for answer. justice. <laughs> yeah. For, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but then again, you know, it's uh, this is how it works, and at the same time, you forget about you forget about uh, the language. The language. <laughs> You know, you just, because you are you are driven by by uh, the meaning, right? You want to get down to the bottom of. The yes, problem, but it's right? the language who does it. You know, you have to find the right language. Yeah, but when you when you focus on the answer, I think it's easier to also to find the language. It's easier. You know? Yeah. 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 It's. But you don't uh, totally forget uh, about the language. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. uh, once again, one of one of uh, one of my students uh, who I already mentioned here, Patricia, she told me today that uh, you know it's it's much harder to talk about the everyday uh, things mm -hmm. than to talk about uh, you know stuff Justice. like what's the difference. Yeah, I mean, this one was quite abstract and difficult, but yeah, yeah. but it's harder, you know, generally to talk about your everyday life, like the health of your daughter, than mm -hmm. to talk about the difference between A and B you know, mm -hmm. uh, whatever concepts uh, we use. And I told her, you're right. Because if you talk about, if you talk about, let's say the health of your daughter or any kind of, you know, um, um, event from your life, you are kind of trapped because you can't uh, choose change the another subject. example. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I mean uh, change the subject, choose not about changing the subject, but choose, choose another example, another metaphor you know, mm -hmm. uh, explain something. No, because you have to stick to what was there. You have to describe, mm -hmm. it's just like describing pictures in uh, Cambridge exams. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a picture and mm -hmm. you say, in this picture, I see, you know, a, a bear chasing uh, whatever, you know, uh, uh, someone. And then you have to describe details. Uh, you have to avoid that, of course, because it's, it's very easy to get trapped and to be lacking vocab simply. Because, uh, you know, if, uh, if you talk about specifics, then you always need a really strong vocabulary. And this is where people uh, kind of start this crazy thinking that I need to improve my vocab. I need to build more uh, word power. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, words to learn, but, uh, you know, um, I advise against uh, learning uh, details like, you know, three types of socks, you know, <laughs> who have, which have, you know, specific names and so on. It's not even. Are there three you know. types of socks? I mean, maybe, yeah. Look at this. Uh, the football players have these long, what are they called? They have a name, right? They are not just socks, are they? I thought they were just socks. We say getre in Polish, you know. But getre, it's not only just sock. Yeah, we also call them getre, but um, they have uh -huh. some element there to. It's it's basically protection. It's not a, any what, average sock. But it's, but it is after all a sock. I mean, it's in the category of socks, right? But it's somehow reinforced, no? Okay, no, no, you, let's discuss next a, time. A, what is the difference between getre and uh, noski? Yeah, and socks. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we have uh, we have actually two words, naski. These they're short and golfy. They are long. Up to your you knee. See? Yeah, you see, you see. Jesus. Well, but yes. this is not what what's uh, what I think is uh, the key. Yeah, to, knowing uh, the three types of socks is not going to help you to answer our questions. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Sorry. <laughs> Fine. Thanks for listening. Uh, www.studiomentals.com is our website where you can get in touch with us. And uh, uh, this was another episode of the Thinking Out Loud podcast. Stay tuned for the Christmas special next time. See you. Uh, hear you. Oh, whatever. <laughs> bye bye. I think it's see you. <laughs> see you. Okay. Bye. <laughs>